Hello, welcome to Mr. Coco Jesus Bus. And um, if you're not a subscriber, kindly do click subscribe and like the page. Okay? Or if uh, you like the video, click like. So this morning I'm with uh, Mr. Chibi. This is at uh, KGH, uh, that's the Kalushi General Hospital. And we want to at least do some procedures in the hospital so that at least you guys can have um, the actual, actual machinery that we use. So this morning, we want to look at the uh, autoclave machine. We want to sterilize some equipment. Remember, initially we started with a decontamination process. Instruments such as uh, these, like the gully port, the faucets, were used on the patient. So after you use them on the patient, what happened was that we, we took them for decontamination, of which we used GIC 1 and 6. So after use of one, GIC 1 and 6, which is just right here, behind you, behind you there, which is there, we use the GIC 1 and 6, then there's plain water, okay? And there's also just uh, soapy water, okay? So we use the soapy water. So what happened was that from um, the patient, instruments came in GIC 1 and 6. They stayed here for at least 10 minutes. From there, we went into the soapy water. We just rinsed them. From rinsing, remember what we discussed, went on to just put them in plain water, remove them, okay? From there, let's move. We kept the instruments for drying. So these instruments were dried. So that's what we did under the decontamination process. So from decontamination, we need to go further and uh, make these instruments sterile to be used, okay? So they need to be sterile. So for these instruments to be called, these instruments are sterile. They need to be put into a machine we call autoclaving machine. autoclaving machine. A sterilizer. Or sterilizer, yes. So these instruments must be put there for sterilization, or autoclaving machine, or sterilizer. So this is what happened. So then for them to be called sterile instruments, meaning they have undergone autoclaving or Stabilization. That's why they are called the sterile instruments. And then when we use on the patient, for example, uh, this instrument is this case, the speculum, yes, which goes into the vagina. We cannot just be using it from one patient to another, okay, meaning that we're going to introduce the infection. So we need to autoclave it. So we're going to use the machine. So I'm, I'm here with Mr. Chibuye, who's going to demonstrate to us how we use the autoclave or the sterilization machine. So Mr. Chibuye, the pros, yes. Yes. yes, yes, fine. Okay, so what we have here is an autoclave machine or a sterilizer. Of course, we understand that they are of different, they are of different making, but the one we have here is quite simple to use. It's quite simple to use. So, first thing first, I'll start by switch on the machine from the power source. I'll switch on the machine. Next, I'll come down here. There's a switching button here. Can you see how it is behaving? Yes, she has displayed everything up there. Even before I make any attempt to start with the first step, be reminded that this machine operates on the principle of the presence of water. Once you blindly start this machine without making sure that the water is in there, then you entirely work outside the principles of operating this machine. Can you kindly capture the inside there, the chamber, there's water, water there. Cool. I understand it's a little bit dark, but there's water there, and there's also a, an element inside, a coiled water. element. Water yeah. and coiled element. Mm -hmm. Fine? So make sure that the water level are up to the recommended standard as they indicated here. Next. You inspect at least inside, check if there's any foreign bodies, anything that we are left inside the chamber or the grieving chamber. Okay, there we go. Then come here, read on the display. May I mention, may I make mention that can you see the different uh, display there on top of the sterilizer? Here, when you see the scissors, I think they use the symbol of the scissors there. When you press this button, see where the green button will change to. You see, this grid pattern indicates that it's the pattern you should press when you want when you want to sterilize instruments which have not been wrapped. Okay, instruments that have been not wrapped in the wrapper, as you can see here. So this time around, we've already placed on the button which shows unwrapped instruments. 
that's what indicates when you press this one so unwrap instruments these can now put of course if you've got quite a lot you can just put them on this tray you see you can put all of them like that plenty of them even up to this level okay then close okay keep closing keep closing until this thing becomes check here ensure door tightness okay check also there door closed to show you the green light door closed until you feel this one is tight okay the next thing you should do is you come and place the start button you see the start button for demonstration purposes we will not start it because once you start it we have to wait for it to finish the cycle so the next stage you just press the start button and this the the whole process will start okay so in this case after heating it will take some time after heating to be indicating here you can see there's a indicator for for temperature once it reaches 118 20 somewhere there the sterilization it will change to go to the side of a sterilization timing we've discovered that it's able to run between 50 to 50 minutes to one hour to finish the whole cycle 50 minutes to one hour to finish the entire cycle it's it's, it's already programmed so what will happen here is once you press the start button all the to start going through all the processes all the stages the first stage will be heating nothing will be happened to just be producing the sound after that after it, it starts sterilizing this button, the green button, will go to the stage of sterilizing. Sterilizing, sterilizing, after it is done, it go to exhaust. That, that, that water which was put under pressure, steam like, in, into the inside of the sterilizing chamber, it will start coming out from here. Shh. Okay, the steam, you see the steam coming out from the other end. After that one, since the instruments will be wet inside there, the button will go to dry stage. Now the heat will be introduced in, into the uh, uh, sterilization chamber where we have some instruments which are wet. Then from there, the instruments will, will be dried up. Okay? After it is done, the next thing it will do is it, it will produce the sound, a hissing sound. The machine will produce a hissing sound and it will write the word finish here. So after pressing the button for starting, your row is done. You just have to sit and wait until you, hit, you, uh, you hear the hissing sound. After you hear the hissing sound, you come and check, you only find the way written finish, meaning the cycle has been finished. Your next step is to take it just simply to come and open. Because all the steam has been drained out, remember, the drying processes are done, to be done with the end. Next, you come here and open the, the driving chamber. And we are good to go. And probably, you, since we are sterilizing instruments which are not wrapped, meaning you have prepared the sterile surface where you can use it, the cheetah process. Don't touch these instruments. Once you touch them, without sterile gloves, then you contaminate them. Straight away, you can put them on the sterile surface. We are going to pick them for you to conduct whatever procedure you are conducting. Remember, I mentioned you put this cheetah process from the, the cheetah process stand here. Okay? So these instruments are ready to be used. Next, next, there's another button here. This button is a dress button. You see that? Eh? It draws a dress. A dress meaning we are going to sterilize instruments which are wrapped up in a cloth. In short, they are dressed. Okay? Let's come here. These, these, are, these are instruments which we are going to to wrap nicely, okay. We put the indicator, the rising tape, the indicator. Same arrangement, okay. Back, before we press anything, let's check the level of water. Remember, we, have, we, we were using it on the previous, previous cycle. Check the level of water. If you are still satisfied with it, it's still high. We are good to go. Back again. Since it is the machine is on, again. Okay? until the door is tight enough. Let's come here. Since we've now reached the stage, we are, sorry, we are sterilizing instruments which are wrapped. Let's go and press the, the dressing. You've seen the button has gone to, to the dress up instruments. Next thing, let's go and press the start button. We press the start button. It will start heating again. After heating for some minutes, sterilizing stage, 
exhausting stage, you see the steam coming out, then it will, it will dry. Because by then, it, the wrappers are wet. Because of the steam that was pushed into the inside, the, the dressing, I mean, the dressing pack are wet. So until it reaches the drying stage, heat will be introduced inside until the whole clothes are, are dry and the instruments inside together. Thereafter, it shall produce a hissing sound. Then when you come and inspect on the screen there, it will find the way written finish. After the way written finishes, it's indicated on the screen there. Then it means you are safe to open the sterilizer. Open, 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 open. And you are good to go. No need to get the ship for safe and correct. This is, these instruments are inside and they are wrapped. So you can simply have them collected and put on the shelf in readiness for another person to come and use them. These are ready for use on the next session. They have been sterilized. There's another indicator here. Look at this button. This is the button we use when we want to sterilize uh, plastic glassware. Glassware like a beaker and the rest from the laboratory department. Okay? Glassware. This is the button we should use. Of course, no need to wrap them. The laboratory colleagues can bring glassware material to come and sterilize for them. They, with them, we simply put them on our small tray here. Then, as usual, you press them back. Make sure you close the door tightly, tightly, tightly until the door is tight enough. Remember, if you don't, if you can't see the green light here to indicate the door closed, meaning the door is not completely shut or closed up. The next time you are pressing the start button, the process will start, but once the heat starts building inside, the pressure from water vapor, from the steam, it will start leaking. Because the seals, remember, you can see the door, the, the green light has not indicated that. So you keep turning, you keep turning, you keep turning, you keep turning. Keep checking there, you can see? So that indicates that the door now is closed, but if you the door does not close and then you press the starting button. The process will start, but once the heat starts beating inside, there will be leakages everywhere. You see water coming out. Okay? You see the water coming out. Good dog, how are you? Good dog. Sure, sure. You keep closing, you keep closing, you keep closing until it's Fine? After that stage, you will press the start button. The process will run, 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 following all these stages. The button will keep moving from one stage to another stage, stage until it produces the hissing sound. An indication that the process is done. Then you find it price of the way finish. Your role at this point in time is just to come on. Okay, okay. May I make mention of one thing that if it is it, 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 in the process it fails to run smoothly, it will indicate get closer, it will indicate that this green light it will come on the fail kind of arrangement and the red light will show up there, meaning the process has not been successful. You have to check the water level, open it, inspect what could be wrong, pack back, close again. If it asks for some water, add some more water. Then you can start all over again. Again, take note that if, maybe due to power failure, it will show you everything will go dark. Right? Everything will go, but the memory will remain what I mean, power can actually go abruptly, like for a minute or two. When it comes back, the machine will start automatically. We were told by the installers that it has got some kind of memory. Power can go back after a minute, it comes up, it can continue running. Okay? So, again, if it happens that you forgot to check to inspect the water levels before starting the machine, you will find that once you pack everything, you start the button, you didn't check the water level, which is likely to be small, low, the machine will indicate, it will give you a hissing sound and the red light will add water. It has, a, it has got a very powerful memory. So you just come and check on the dashboard, you realize, so, oh, add water. Instantly follow the instructions from the machine. Add some more water, start the machine again it will automatically. Click on and start running it smoothly. Thereafter, after the cycle is done for glassware, as usual, you open it. Okay? As usual, you open it. Remove your glassware, 
put them in their uh, appropriate containers as they take them back to their department. Last stage, if you check once again on our display there, there is this funny like structure, a propeller like structure. This indicates see, you were cleaning instruments which are wet, and all you, you are interested in is to have them dried up by airing. Okay? You bring the instruments here, that's bomber, they are wet, you bring them here, you put them on a tray, put them back, close tightly, press it, the drying pattern. What the machine will do is it will just run the fan inside, heat and the fan inside, specifically or solely for the purpose of drying up the instruments. We are not sterilizing, we are not, not doing anything else. All we want is it to dry up the instruments that we put in there. Then after the, the machine indicates it, finish, you can simply open it, like we have the area only demonstrated. Open and remove the dried up instruments. Okay? Um, it is always important that uh, once you finish using the machine, kindly check the water level. If you go out for the benefit of the next user, you can still add some more water to reach the recommended level. But in case somebody will come rush fast to start sterilizing and are thinking, realizing to say they have to inspect the water levels, they will be on the same side. Because with you, the, first, the previous user will have taken precautions to make sure everything is in place, just in case your next colleague or your next user will just come blindly start pressing the start button, you would have saved the, the machine. Okay? So, thank you. That's all. Unless there are other questions, but we can still iron the yeah, but, but at least on the stages of sterilizing, this is the, how our machine works. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Chibir. And I think that's very educative. As you can see, it's very important to keep our instruments sterile. As we learn in our theory to say, keep instruments sterile. This is how we keep them sterile. Because you cannot really use instruments that are contaminated. We know they are microorganisms and they are in the hospital environment. So these instruments must always be sterilized. That's the purpose of this machine. So we brought you here so that the people guys can also have the knowledge in terms of our sterilization and appreciate the fact that instruments can be sterilized. And all types of instruments can be sterilized. sterilized. So there are also bigger, bigger sterilizers yes. or autoclave machines. Very big to accommodate, very big drums and also very big packs. Okay? So this one is a smaller version, but they're also bigger jobs. Okay. So let's try to always ensure that as we work in this hospital environment, we are trying to at least keep our instruments there. So thank you very much for watching and keep learning and keep having the data data is never finishing. Data is endless. Thank you very much.